Hello everyone and welcome back to the FPS series. So in the past tutorial, I've showed you guys how to make a nice clean little menu screen, which looks really nice. So when you go ahead and play the game, you can go ahead, press deploy, and you will be, uh, your camera will be tweened to your character. Now, in, before I start this tutorial, if you guys don't want to follow my tutorial or want to support me, you can find uh, all of my tutorial files in the $10 tier in, on my Patreon. The link will be in the description. All right, let's start. So what we're going to be doing is, uh, in this tutorial is coding some random map choosing and uh, making the deploy button actually work. And start on coding the main game mode. It won't be done in this tutorial, but it, it'll probably be done in the next few tutorials. So. Here's what I'm going to be doing. We're going to add a remote event inside of, uh, uh, actually, before we do that, uh, we're going to add a remote event in replicated storage. So go to your remotes folder, add a remote event, rename it to deploy. Now that we've got that, we will go ahead on our game logic script and do replicated storage, main game, remotes, and we're gonna get the deploy remote dot on server event on connect function, and we're gonna get the player, and that's basically it. So we're gonna do local map is equal to workspace map or chosen map and would you local spawn is equal to or local spawn with a capital s um I'll just rename it to chosen spawn and we're gonna change that to map to hashtag or actually map spawns column get children and that will return a, a table and inside of that table we're going to choose a random index which, which will be math dot random and we're going to start from one to hashtag uh, map spawns uh column get children and that will choose a random spawn for us and what we're going to be doing right now is coding the uh teleportation so we're going to teleport the player to the chosen spawn so that's very very simple we're going to do local character or let's do local character is equal to player dot character or player dot character added on the way and in here we're going to do if character is not equal to nil then and we're going to cut all of this and we'll go ahead and put it right here now here's what we're going to be doing we're going to teleport the player to that uh chosen spawn so we're going to teleport that by um setting the c frame of uh, the humanoid joke part so and uh, actually, let's do. Hmm. Yeah, I think we will just do character. Dot humanoid root part. Dot c frame is equal to chosen spawn. Dot c frame plus vector three. Dot new. And zero comma six comma zero. And that should. Uh, teleport the player now we're gonna give him a random gun so local random gun or let's make that a variable up here local random gun is equal to uh, uh, let's create a variable for the guns folder so local guns is equal to replicated storage main game Actually, let's do game replicated storage dot main game dot uh, 
character guns. Or let's rename this to ch char guns or character guns. And we're going to wait for the character guns. And after doing that, we'll... Okay, so we have a little error up here. And that's not really a problem because we're going to fix that right now. So, character guns. Come and get children. Let me just zoom in a little bit. Children. And we will, uh, as I said, that will return a table. And we're going to choose a random index. So, math.random from 1 to hashtag uh, character guns colon get children. And we're going to clone it. So, colon clone. And after setting the C frame, we're going to do random gun dot parent dot parent. And we're going to set their parent to the. Uh, uh, I think we're going to go for the starter pack first. Or let's just do backpack for now. Is equal to player dot backpack and then in here we will uh, check if the game has started so local game has started is equal to false and in here we're going to check if the game already started so if game has started is equal equal to true then we'll do all of this otherwise uh we're not gonna do anything so we're just going to remove that else okay so now we're gonna create a function for choosing the random game so uh, or i mean uh, choosing the random map so local function choose um local function start game so here's what we're going to be doing or in fact let's make this a function like this so start game is equal to function and what we're going to be doing is local random map is equal to um and let's make a little map so i'm just going to to disable the ui by pressing this little i icon right here and uh what we're gonna be doing is making well a simple map so let's just make a grassy map let's make it green let's make it bigger let's just make a big platform or let's configure the size from here so we're gonna change that to uh 60 by 1 by 60 and i'm just going to put that right here and we have our grassy land uh, i think i'm going to make that a bit bigger and now i'm going to show you how to set up your map we're going to make sure this is anchored make your map look much cooler than this base plate we're going to add a folder to the workspace rename this map to whatever thing you want i'm just going to rename it to grass map and i'm going to take this anything that's in the map we're gonna put it in here and then you want to add a folder called spawns spawns and you're gonna add a part to it and make sure that the part is anchored and make sure it's not in the ground so make sure it's putting up a bit and you're gonna change the transparency to one and put some of these spawns everywhere so I'm just going to put one up here, one up here, one up here, and one over here. Now we have our spawn set up. Now I'm just going to drag this inside of server storage. Now inside of server storage, you're going to add a folder. You're going to rename this to maps. And you're going to put the grass map inside of your maps folder. Now we're going to do local random map is equal to game dot server storage. Uh, server storage. Uh, dot maps column get children and we're gonna do the same thing choose a random index math.random 
from one to ha whatever maps you have so the amount of maps you have which is going to be hashtag uh game.servicestorage.mapscon.getchildren and then we're going to clone that map so we're going to clone it and we'll do random map dot parent is equal to workspace and we're going to do random map random map dot name is equal to and map so uh, or let's rename it to chosen map and after doing that we'll just set the game has started to true of course we're gonna have much more stuff here but we'll do that later so uh here's what we're gonna be doing we're gonna wait uh 10 seconds and we're gonna start the game so uh start game or start game and what we're going to be doing right now is going to our deploy button and we're going to code it from here so uh deploy the mouse button one click on connect function and instead of just getting out of the menu right now we're going to do con connect function and before we get out of the menu we will just make the player in first person so we're gonna lock him in first person or let's do that later we're not going to be doing that in this tutorial so we'll firstly try to fire the remote event so replicated storage or game dot replicated storage dot remotes dot uh, main game dot remotes dot deploy con fire server and then we're gonna do underscore g dot get out of menu underscore g dot get out of menu and that should be it now we're gonna go ahead and play the game and we should be able to get out of the menu when we join so we can't get out of the menu right now or actually we will uh make that a uh, so rem remove this deploy remote event add a remote function instead and we're gonna rename this to uh, deploy again and in here we're gonna do dot on uh, server invoke and instead of the doing con connect function we're gonna do is equal to function and player And we're going to remove that. Now, all we're going to have to do is uh, do local result or local deploy result is equal to uh, call a game that replicated source dot main game dot most dot deploy call invoke server. And then we're going to do if deploy result is equal equal to true, then we're gonna get out of the menu and here we're gonna return true else return false now we're gonna go ahead and play the game and that should be working just fine so Let's go ahead plus the deploy button and as you can see it does not work until the map gets chosen and now we should be getting teleported to a random spawn when we press this so as you can see we got teleported to the random spawn and we have the pistol so we got a random gun and i also have to fix this or actually i don't have to because it's well a person game so we don't really need to fix that now here is what we're gonna have to do i think we will have to okay so make sure that all of the spawns are not collidable so make sure that can collide and checked on every single spawn so let's do that can collide false and i did notice a bug with the um uh, so 
and that is because we hmm so let's think of this camera tween camera tween uh original c frame okay so here's what we're gonna be doing instead of doing this we are just not going to do that and we are just going to remove this camera tween can't play we don't really need that and now if you go ahead and play the game that should be working just fine and actually let's remove the weight because it's getting kind of annoying so let's just put a wait 0.5 seconds and that shouldn't be too long so we got in the menu now we'll wait for the map to get chosen press deploy we get teleported we have our pistol so now we're going to make sure that that works with every single player in the game so let's start a two-player server and wait for this to load and i think i haven't said that since i made my first ever tutorial which was the among us series so the game should be starting right now and what i'm going to do is press the deploy button right here and we got teleported and i'm going to wait for the other player to be teleported so let me just go here deploy and as you can see the other player can see our gun so as you can see i can see the other player holding the gun but i can't see myself holding the gun because it's going to be a first person again so they won't be able to zoom out but as you can see it works perfectly and i kind of like this so let's just kill uh this player and actually let's just leave the game and yeah i think this is going to be it for today's tutorial if this helped make sure to subscribe like the video share it with your friends and i will see you all in the next tutorial bye